Hey you guys, Shauna here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as if you like pregnancy updates, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I am here today with my week 35 pregnancy update. So week 35, first off, I wanna mention um, a symptom maybe that I haven't mentioned, but these baby hairs. They are driving me crazy. I don't know if you can see all these, but they are going nuts and they will not stay down anymore. And I thought that was a postpartum thing, but apparently it's a pregnancy thing too. Cause look at this, this is, this is crazy. Like what is all this? Anyways, so I apologize for that. They're driving me crazy. So week 35, was pretty good. It started out with um, a biophysical profile screening for the baby. So I went in and he did good on heart rate and his amniotic levels were good and um, his movements were good, but he wasn't taking practice breaths like he was supposed to, which was a little frustrating because he was wiggling. So he was awake. He just wasn't taking the practice breaths. She could see him taking little teeny tiny breaths they just weren't deep enough and they weren't consistent enough for them to pass him on that portion of the test. So we waited for 30 minutes watching his little diaphragm, waiting for him to breathe and he just wasn't doing it. So my doctor um, had me hook up to um, a non-stress test, which is where they put the monitors on your stomach for contractions and for the baby's heart rate. Um, so I'm sure you guys have all seen it. There's usually like a blue band and a pink band and they have little, little things on your stomach to monitor your belly or to monitor the baby. It's what they do when you go into labor at the hospital. But so she hooked me up to that for 20 minutes um, and just watched the baby's heart rate. Um, and it was good. So after that, she said he was fine. He looked great. There was nothing wrong. He just, it was probably a bad time of day to be doing practice breaths, um, which the last two had been in the afternoons, the last two BPPs. And this one was first thing in the morning. So it, they said it probably just wasn't his time of day to be practicing, which isn't bad, which isn't a heart, which isn't bad or anything. They practice at different times. It's not always, it's not all the time. So, but he was fine, but it was a very long appointment since I had to sit there for 20 minutes and just let them monitor him after I had already been there for 30 minutes watching him on the ultrasound. <laughs> um, I also just had a normal doctor's appointment with my doctor that week week 35 um i had gained three more pounds this week so from week 33 to week 35 i gained three additional pounds so i am at should have watched the last video i was at i believe negative six before and then i gained three more pounds so i believe i'm at negative three now um so i'm gaining weight pretty quickly now which my doctor said is normal in this stage of pregnancy but I'm not thrilled with it. I know I still overall haven't gained any weight this pregnancy, so I should be happy, but it's just happening very quickly now. So, but I also haven't been eating very well, so it's probably partially my fault. Um, but baby's good. He was healthy, um, looked good. My blood pressure and everything was good. Um, let's see what else. I don't think there was many more symptoms or anything during week 35. I have continued to feel a lot of pressure, a lot of pain in my hips. I can just feel everything like loosening up and just when I sit for long periods of time and then I get up and try to walk, I'm very like stiff and it hurts a lot in my hips and like my groin region. So I've just been trying to like stay moving um, and stay active to try to <sighs> counteract that. Um, sleep is pretty much non-existent. Oh, I did want to mention at this, um, during week 35, I did finally break down and start taking Pepsid AC. My doctor had suggested a long time ago, I mentioned it in one of my update videos that she had told me I could start taking it and I had been hesitant. I did break down and finally start taking it. Um, and it's been, it's been so helpful. It's, I'm kind of mad I didn't start sooner. Um, and it's helped me actually sleep a little bit better too. I was waking up every 45 minutes to an hour and I thought it was cause I was having to pee, but apparently, but I was also like having the acid reflux and like coughing stuff up all the time. And so once I started taking the Pepsid AC, 
I now can sleep for two to three hours at a time without having to get up and pee, which, so I'm, I'm guessing that the acid reflux was actually what was waking me up. And then I just, since I was awake, I was peeing. Um, so that's actually a lot better. So I am happy about that. I feel bad that I broke down, especially this late in pregnancy with only having a few weeks left to go, but it's helped a lot. So, um, besides that, everything else is good. Um, I am excited. We are doing a labor and delivery class. So I am starting that this weekend. I'm excited about that. I'm a little bit late. I know I should have done it earlier, but I was hesitant to pay the money for it. Um, and besides that, I think that's it. So stay tuned. Next week will be a week 36 update. And we are doing a growth check next week. So we'll get to see how big he is again, which I'm excited about. And I, we're counting down now, you guys. Just a few more weeks until baby boy, baby Charlie, now that you guys know his name, is going to be here. So stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribed. And if you like pregnancy updates or if you liked this video in particular, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks, y'all. Bye.